Hello guys, welcome back to another video, and today we are going to be doing uh, another thing in, uh, well, I can't speak right now. Okay, we're doing another thing in islands, and today we're going to be uh, making it so that you can't infinitely place blocks like I'm about to show. If Roblox Studio will load. Okay, there, okay. So we have this infinite block thing, which we are gonna fix in this video, where we can place blocks in this thing right here, where it says one X, the amount, will not go down ever, because that is not in our scripts. Also, yeah, okay. Because that is not in our scripts. So, we will be fixing that because that is a problem. So yeah. So the first thing that we should do is uh, go into build scrolling frame and then just go into the first one you find it doesn't really matter and then add a int value oh and I also got a new keyboard so it's a little bit louder you can hear it a little bit better if you can hear that even okay so this int value I'm gonna call int amount oh I did not spell it correctly int amount and I'm just gonna set this to 10 right now I'm also gonna set the text to 10. Okay, so uh, let's just copy and paste that into, uh, just copy and paste, so like uh, this int amount, right click, click copy, and then go into all your other ones and uh, right click and click paste into. And that'll just copy everything, or it'll just copy it into it. Okay, now let's actually uh, make the script thing work. Oh, well, actually, I'm gonna set this uh, text first. 10, okay. So in here, we're just gonna say script.parent.intamount. Oh, I did not spell that correctly. Dot changed. Uh, connect function. Okay. Uh, so this is gonna say whenever intamount is changed because we don't want it to run every time like or every frame because that'll put a lot of pressure on the game and that is not what we want ever okay so when it is changed we want the amount to go down or this text to change so we're going to say script dot parent dot amount dot value oh that's not value dot value that that is not value oh you know it's dot text what am i saying okay dot text is equal to we're gonna set this equal to script dot parent dot int amount dot value and then this is ha gonna have to be a string so i'm going to encase that in parentheses and this is a neat way to uh turn a uh int like a number into a string just uh, cover in parentheses and do to string. It'll just convert it to a string. And then we're going to add the X at the end because it makes it look better. X. Okay, uh, so this basically means add on. In other programming languages, it's like this or even like this, or if it's in, if it's in parentheses, you'd do that, but um, in, the, in Lua, it is dot dot. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it has some name for it, but it's too long for me to remember. Okay, so that should work. Oh, wait. Okay, we only have this in one. So I'm just going to copy this into the other one that I have. And you can just do that for every single one, like, or every single block. Or you can just copy the script and get rid of the other scripts and then just paste this script into never mind okay so um now let's actually make it so that it gets rid of the blocks so uh the first thing that we're going to do is go into build go into the script and after this if because that's when it actually like creates the block uh we're gonna like after this if we're gonna say um player or, that's not how you spell player okay player dot player gy dot build dot scrolling frame dot uh oh wait no find first child and i'll explain this all later okay dot find first child block 
dot name. Oh, that is not good. Okay, so find first child. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm just gonna explain this thus far. So uh, this will get the players GYs like a list of them, and then it, it will select build, which is this thing, and then it will go into the scrolling frame, which is here, and then uh, find first child uh, is basically it looks through all the childs of scrolling frame, and uh, gets the first one that has this name. So I just uh, we did block dot name because it's the block's name. Yeah. Okay. So um, now we're gonna say dot int value. Oh, I did not spell int fully. Dot int. Why not int value? Int amount because that is this thing right here. Dot value minus equals one. So we're just uh, getting ri we're just subtracting one from the int amount. Okay. So now that we have that, let's just test that real quick. So if we load in, we select our build, we click, it's getting rid of them. It also works for wood, but wood doesn't really show. Wait, if you get rid of the console, it does. Um, will, I, will, I res will I respawn? That, that's that's nice but uh, yeah so that works and um, yeah <laughs> that, that was awkward so now let's go into the local script and make it so that, oh wait I, I, I'm gonna give you a little demo of the problem that we're gonna fix because I didn't explain the problem and that's the problem that I didn't explain the problem you could, oh my gosh Roblox Studio, Studio really doesn't like to load, like load the games. Just not very. It, it just really doesn't. Come on, load this time. Uh, yes, okay. Oh, wow, okay. So uh, the problem is we can build null. It makes us go down. But how, what happens when we hit zero? Yeah, it just goes to negative, and that's not what we want. That is it. That's is it right yeah that's not what we want is what you should be saying if yeah if yeah that's what you should be saying we it should be like that okay so uh how we will do that is in this activated which is when like the player clicks with the uh tool we'll say if player dot player gui that's not player gui dot player gui dot build dot scrolling frame oh wait, no wait wait i'm confusing myself wait well yeah yeah, yeah. that scrolling frame find first child object dot name that is not name okay D object dot name and then i'm just gonna explain so it'll get build scrolling frame it'll get whatever item you're holding so i was using dirt as an example and then um now we need to check if it's uh greater than or equal to zero or if if it's greater than zero so we're gonna say uh if this if this uh amount i didn't even say the amount <laughs> dot int amount and it's not how you spell amount dot int amount dot value that's not high spell value either okay dot value is greater than zero then we can run this but if it's not then it'll just not run this yeah okay let's test one build bam 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 i'm a i'm a minecraft pro now i, I can't build anymore but I can build with wood. Uh-huh. You didn't expect that, did you? Also, uh, weird glitch. You can build. Oh, I know. Never mind. But yeah, you can build with your body. It's, it's, a, it's a gift. But yeah, my I'm out of wood now. Oh, I just fell through the floor. That's nice. Okay, but you as you can see, it worked. So... 
that was this video. Uh, the game will be in the description. It is uncopy lock, so you have uh, instant edit access, so you can like get all the scripts and stuff, or you can just take it all if you want to do that. But yeah, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, I'm also going to post like three videos this weekend because of uh, the three day weekend or not three day weekend, the three day snow days, the three days of snow days, which okay, that, that just sounds weird. Three days of snow days. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. So I'll be posting three videos this weekend, which I've never done before. I've never posted three videos in a week, actually. So that's going to be an accomplishment, but I'll see you guys in the next one, and bye.